Hey you, it's Paul from Defining the Box, where we're defining the box to help you think outside of it. This week we got the Pen Simple, the pen grinder that shoots your herbs out. The three takeaways for this is it focuses on this thing called the dispense aspect, really getting it from your grinder into your consumption device. There is a little bit of a learning curve to this product and you kind of need the attachments to get its full use. The last one is it pairs really well with another grinder. You can actually dump from another grinder into the pen simple. It comes into an overall score of 3.00, which means it's right in the average when you got a one to a five. It has some good parts and definitely some parts that need improvement. So who is this for? If you're someone who needs something on the go or you have another grind you want to pair it with it works very well for that who is it not for our boy steve who needs multiple grams at a time for all of his homies coming over within the 3.00 we have five categories the grinder it got a 3.1 it can handle the little nugs but it can't do a bunch at once on storage it gets a 4.1 it has two storage modes and focuses on that dispense aspect longevity gets a 2.5 it has a pretty good warranty for electronics but at the end of the day, it is an electronic grinder and has more warranty issues than a manual one. Miscellaneous, we got a 3.9. It's a super novel concept with actually really good customer support options. It doesn't have a key catch though. And then price, you got a 2.1. With so many different quality grinders out there, paying around $55 to $70 is a hard price point to justify. I dive into how I got to each of these rankings later in this video. I want to give you an explanation of how defining the box works. It uses a simple math equation called a weighted average. You have two factors. One are the parameters that you give ratings to, and the second is the preferences to each of those ratings. So for example, Grinders has five ratings. So you have grinder, storage, longevity, miscellaneous, and price. I'm going to go to each of those categories and show you what goes into those ratings. Starting with the first one is grinder. It has three factors, grind capacity, grind consistency, and grind speed. Grind capacity got a 2.0 and is 30% of that grinder score. Grinder capacity is how much product you can put in the grinder without sacrificing grind quality. So Pen Simple is actually a confusing one for this because you can stuff it with a bunch of product, but if you stuff it and then try to grind it, it's not gonna work very well. For its best quality, it's about 0.25 to 0.5 grams. The second factor is grind speed. It got a 3.0 and is 40% of the grinder category. So what grinder speed is when you put in X product, how long it takes to to get from the ground to the unground state. So pen symbol is just about average. It comes off with ease. You can stuff it in there and just grind through with relative ease. Like I said, with grind capacity, you can only do so much, but when you do put in little buds, it tears through them pretty fast. You have really, really sharp teeth here that will cut through it. But once again, you can't stuff it. The last factor is grind consistency. It got a 4.0 and is 30% of the grinder score. It's how little variance there is within your end product of grind. Basically, if there's like any big chunks hanging out, even though pen symbol can and grind up ounces at a time, it does provide a nice fluffy consistency that works for any consumption device. When running our test, 90% of the ground product was roughly the same size. Next is storage. Storage is how much room there is for your ground product and getting your ground product into your consumption device. I gave that 25% of the total score. There's four factors that go into storage storage capacity, dispense speed, key catch, and portability. First one is storage capacity got a 4.0 and is 40% of the storage score. So that's basically how much ground product you can fit in your grinder without sacrificing its quality. Pensible is actually a very unique product where you have two different storage modes. So with the grind teeth in like this, it holds about 1.5 grams, but you can take out the top grind teeth and the bottom grind teeth to over double your storage to three grams. Dispense speed got a 4.5 and is 45% of the storage score. Dispense speed is how fast can you get it from your grinder into your consumption device. This is where Pen Simple really shines. Given its push button design, if you have ground product hanging out here, you just hold the button and it dispenses it way faster than any other grinder on the market. The third category is Keef Catch. It got a 3.0 and is 5% of the storage. The Keef Catch is where the pollen hangs out and I just determine if there is one and how good it is at collecting keef. So Pen Simple does not have a keef catch. I personally would rather not have a keef catch than a bad keef catch. So Pen Simple pretty much average. It evenly distributes your keef compared to other keef catches where it can get stuck and you can actually use it. The last factor is portability. It's got a 3.2 and is 10% of the storage score. Portability is how easy is it to get from point A to point B with you and do you need to bring a separate bag? So Pen Simple is kind of a confusing one. It's definitely designed to be a portable device. It's it's actually bigger than I anticipated. And if you don't have this cap piece on it, 
you can actually have herbs that come out the bottom. You almost have to get that point plug if you really want it to be the portable thing. So it is definitely more portable than the average grinder, but you need the additional accessory to make it worth it. If you summarize all those together, it gives the storage score 4.1. The third is longevity. This is like how long the product is gonna last you, how long is it gonna be useful to you? Longevity is 20% of the total score. And there's four factors that go into it. Durability, ease of cleaning, cleaning frequency, and ease of use. So the first one is durability. Durability got a 2.0 and is 30% of the longevity score. Durability is how long is this physically going to last? Is it have a long time warranty? Can it handle drops? Pensimple did pass the drop test, but it is an electronic grinder and has only a one year warranty, which is good compared to other grinders with electronics in them. But compared to manual grinders with lifetime warranties, it pales in comparison. The second is ease of use. Got a 3.5 and is 30% of the longevity score. So ease of use combines two things, that initial learning curve and then once you get past it how easy is it to actually use so pen simple definitely has an initial learning curve that you have to get over once you get past that initial learning curve it is actually a way more simple process than a standard grinder you just have your ground product waiting for you and then you just push a button and dispenses right in it's a way different concept but you do have to get past that initial learning curve the third one is cleaning frequency you got a 2.5 and it's five percent of the longevity score that's how often do you have to clean it and can you avoid not not cleaning it. So with pen simple, it really, really depends on how you use it. If you try to stuff this whole thing through and just grind through it all, you're probably gonna have to clean it every time. But if you use it within the recommended amount, the 0 0.25 to 0 0.5 grams, it should be able to handle it no problem. The last one's ease of cleaning. It got a 2.0 and is 35% of the longevity score. So cleaning frequency is how often you do it. Ease of cleaning is once you have to clean it, how easy is it to clean? So a pen simple, it has electronics in it. So you can't just dunk it in some isopropyl alcohol compared to other manual grinders. It's a unique shape. There's some weird nooks and crannies that's hard to clean out of. But since it is modular, you can untwist all the parts and clean it out pretty easily. But it got a 2.0 just given it has electronics and doesn't have the same simpleness that a manual grinder has. So the fourth category is miscellaneous. It's basically the catch-all for other parameters that matter within a purchasing decision, but don't fall into those other three of grinder, storage, and longevity. So the miscellaneous category got 10% of the total score. So there's two factors that that come into that. It's customer service and novelty. So the first factor, customer service got a 4.0 and is 80% of the miscellaneous category. So customer service is basically how easy is it to find the information online? And then if you do need to get in touch with them, how easy is it? Can you reach them on all forms? So Pensible actually has some pretty great customer service. They're missing one form of communication, which is chat, my preferred one. But also they have a great troubleshooting page that has very specific questions and they have a great overview video. The second factor is novelty. It got a 4.2 and is 20% of the miscellaneous category. So novelty is, do you want to show this to your friends? Is it unique compared to other products within the category? So Pensible does a great job of this. Not only is it a very unique value proposition where you're focusing on the dispensing rather than the grinder, you have modularity. You can literally twist in and off of the pieces. So you actually have three different modes. The normal, that storage mode, then also has this cute little one called the Pensible Direct, which sells by itself as well. And the last category is price. It got a 2.1 and that's 30% of the overall total score. So Pen Symbol is a premium product. When you have 10, $20 grinders on Amazon, it's sometimes hard to justify that steeper price point. So on their website, it's $70, but you can find it on Amazon Prime for 55. So I give it a 2.1, because it, it is definitely more expensive than the average one, but you can spend way more on a grinder than $55. So in conclusion, Pen Symbol is a very unique product. Pen Symbol got a 3.00 straight average. It had certain features that it was great on, like the dispense speed, other factors, it wasn't so good grind capacity. So it is definitely approaching the grinder category in a very unique way and is focusing on something that most other grinders don't even think about, which is the dispensing aspect. They did a lot right with the V1, have a lot of things to improve on, and I'm very excited for their V2. So with all products, we host a giveaway. We host that giveaway on our website, definingthebox.com. You just put your email down, but you also have other options like following a page on Instagram and going following Pen Simple's page or giving them an email for even more entries into the giveaway. We're defining the box so you can think outside of it. Thank you for watching.